In order to properly use Lizzie, one of the things that you're going to have to do is learn how to set up suppliers and manufacturers. And in this video, we're going to go through how to set up a supplier. Um, suppliers are actually linked to the manufacturers for who to order from, so it, it kind of makes sense to put the supplier in first. Um, however, some of the suppliers are the manufacturers. You buy directly from the manufacturer, and in those cases, it, it makes sense to set them up both at the same time. Um, but you do need to actually tell the system that they are a supplier and a manufacturer um, before you set those up so that so you can choose them. Um, so kind of a definition here before we get started. Um, we classify a supplier as who you actually purchase from, and we classify a manufacturer as who actually makes the items. Now, in some vendors' cases, like Parts Unlimited and Takaraki and those kind of places, they are really a distributor of other people's stuff, but because they have their own part numbers and they have such a massive quantity of items that they push, um, it makes sense to set them up as a manufacturer and a supplier. Um, but in most cases, um, for example, if I sell uh, Honda parts, but I buy them through a local distributor, then I would have Honda set up as the manufacturer and I would have the distributor set up as the supplier. Um, if I buy directly from Honda, then I would have them set up as a, Honda, as a supplier and a manufacturer. So that, that's kind of the idea behind it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our locate contact control because we put everybody inside of contacts, whether they're a vendor or a supplier, government agency or a customer, um, everybody goes into the contact section. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate a, a new supplier. So we're going to set up a, a new supplier account. So we're going to call them uh, ABC Supplier. Um, now we already have an entry here for an ABC Supplier. Um, we'll say that this is ABC Supplier 2 just to make sure we're creating a new record here since that's the purpose of this video. Um, and so we'll add a new supplier. Um, it'll automatically copy in your business name or up to whatever you had typed over there. You're just going to type in the, the basic information here. Um, the primary thing that we really need is the company name and a phone number. So we'll just put in you know whatever their phone number is. And if we have a website address for them and maybe an email address, we can put those in as well but not required at this particular point. Once we have the supplier account created, the next step is just like we created employees earlier, we're going to edit this particular item. And instead of picking employee, we're just gonna come down here and pick supplier. And then we're gonna save that information. And now the final step of the supplier is to actually enter the specific information about them. So we're gonna click on the supplier link that is now here. And from here, we can tell it that this is an inventory supplier. And to, to, to kind of explain this, inventory are basically parts. So anything that is not a serialized major unit, we just classify it as inventory. And then major units have their own section. So this is asking, do they sell parts? And do they have major units? So you basically just check the appropriate boxes. Are they a 1099 supplier? Um, you know, do you export your orders to them via one of the selected interfaces? Um, you're, you're basically just kind of walking through the process here down, down the list. Um, do you have multiple locations? In the case of our demo database, we do. So if I went to the dealership, I can enter specific account numbers for the dealership versus the warehouse versus somebody else. And then our supplier locations. Um, and, and so basically all we're doing is basically supplying information to the system to know that this is a supplier. Where should they show up? Um, so this supplier locations box allows me to have this supplier only show up in the old warehouse, for example. Um, nobody else orders from them. So we can be specific. If we don't put anything in here, it's going to show up for everybody. If they're an expense supplier, we can fill in an expense account that we want to use for them. And, and then our other default accounts down here. And the wizard hats work the same here as you saw over in earlier videos about major the major uh, vendors and stuff. So, you know, pretty straightforward for, for getting the, the account set up. And, and then once you have this vendor or the supplier set up, you can then select them on the manufacturers to be able to say that I order for this manufacturer, I order through these three suppliers. And you'll see that in the next video.